Today's pocket letter is a bit different from the others because I'm going to make it totally transparent. I've die cut a pinpoint rectangle and a tag out of acetate. And now I'm going to secure them inside the check pattern embossing folder with uh, some pieces of washi tape, making sure they are straight. And then I'll uh, run it through the die cutting machine. We'll get a nice shiny embossed surface. For the pocket letter we'll need one tag and nine rectangles to make panels. Now I'm going to use my very favorite citrus dyes by Memory Box. I'm coloring some pieces lemon yellow with the distress inks. Then I'm adding slightly darker yellow for shading. The list of all the supplies I'm using is in the description for this video, if you're interested. Now I'll show you a nice way to add dimension to those die cuts. I'm securing this piece to a circle base to use it as a stencil. Then I'm applying some glue with a needle applicator to stick the inside pieces one by one. After they are stuck, I'm removing the stencil piece. And uh, now I'm applying a nice drop of liquid enamel dots to each section. I'm using my piercing tool to spread the medium all around the surface. After it's done, I'll have to set them aside to dry completely. Here is the convenient way to assemble this half lemon. I'm sticking both pieces to a strip of painter's tape, cutting it out, and then I'm going to proceed with the enamel dots. Another element I'm going to add are those stars. I'm just putting it uh, to a non-stick sheet and uh, covering it with enamel dots. Then I'll set it aside to dry. When everything's dry, I am adding back this remaining piece. A nice thing is that in case you smudge the enamel, it will hide all the mistakes. I've die cut a sentiment, one more star, and a bunch of ringlets out of silver grey cardstock. This small die actually cuts out nine thin rings at a time. Then I'm sticking the silver star outline on top of a piece I've made before. And this will give us a nice embellishment that looks just like enameled jewel jewelry. To give a sentiment more dimension, I'm gluing three die cuts one on top of another. As always, I'm using Advent Calendar die set to make a number plate. This pocket letter is number 6. I'm arranging some of the elements on top of a page, and then I'm going to stick them down with a hot glue. Because the sentiment is large and intricate, I'm adding the glue in small portions. This way it will not get dry before I have to stick it down. And when it's done, I'll have to remove all the threads. To add sparkle and shine to my project, I'll be using two sequin mixes by Cat Scrappiness. I'm positioning the panel on top of a page, this way I can see exactly where I have to adhere the sequins. You can use glossy accents or matte medium to stick them down, they both work just fine.
I'll do that to all three central panels. I've die cut the glass out of vellum and I'm attaching it to one of the panels with the hot glue. To make sugar icing, I'll use glossy accents and rock candy distress glitter. Then I'm just attaching the lemon slices, ringlets, sequins and a star to the embossed acetate panels. I'm punching holes in my tags. Now I have to slip all the rectangles into the pockets. As a finishing touch, I'm covering the sentiment with glossy accents and uh, rock candy distress glitter. Finally, I'm tying the tags to a page and my pocket letter is finished. You can see that this large slice is actually a name tag, and the whole letter is see-through. Please check out the close-up pictures of some details at the end of the video. Here are some more tutorials as well as the link to the supply list. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching!